Welcome to the Databricks Skill Builder Series. We're glad you're here. Hi, everyone. My name is Colton Peltier, and today I'm going to be talking to you about ML flows, evaluate capabilities uh, pertaining to Gen AI. Specifically, I'm going to talk about using these capabilities to evaluate three different LLMs for a task and to look at um, how you can figure out which LLM is performing the best. We'll use some of the pre built in metrics that come with ML flows evaluate. And we'll also take a look at the custom metrics that you can put in. <clears throat> so the first piece here is just to install any libraries that we need. So for this, I'm going to install MLflow, uh, an up-to-date version, Langchain, and a couple extra packages that we need. So on Databricks, you know, you get your pre-built-in libraries that come with uh, your cluster's runtime. You can also install new libraries at the cluster level so that any notebook using that cluster has access. Or you can do like I've done here and install them specific to the notebook itself. So these libraries are just scoped to this notebook as I run it. While we're waiting for that to run, I'll keep going down here a bit. So the next set is just some of our imports. Nothing too important there. Um, and let's talk a bit about LLMs uh, as foundation models on Databricks. So we have a foundation model API on Databricks, which allows you to easily interface with some pre-hosted models that we have, like Mixtral or MPT. Um, additionally, it also allows you to configure external models. Um, we won't be using an external model for this specific use case, but I wanted to show you an example of how you might want to include something like GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 into your uh, evaluation. So for that, you would go to your serving window and you would create a new uh, serving endpoint. You click on external models, and then you can put all of your details in, uh, what the provider is, uh, how you access it with your API key, and so on. And so that'll actually allow you to just reference it like any other endpoint. Um, and then you can pull any external in, uh, models into your evaluations. <clears throat> so here I'm going to use the chat Databricks uh, class from Langchain, and I'm going to create three uh, LLMs, one for Llama 370B, one for Mixtral's uh, Mixture of Experts model, and one for Databricks DBRX. Next, we're going to create a prompt for our riddle generator. So in this case, we're saying you're a good-natured cr riddle creator. You're going to be given a topic, and you need to create a riddle about it. <clears throat> Make the riddle so complex that even a college graduate would struggle to solve it for a week. Respond only with the riddle, and don't include the topic words anywhere in the riddle. And then here's an example, rivers. And the example riddle could be, what has a bed but never sleeps and has a mouth but never eats? Then I'm going to create this models object, which is just a dictionary with three keys and LLM chains with each of my LLMs and that prompt. Here's an example output from each of those LLMs, from Llama 3, Mixtral, and DBRX. And we're passing in the topic of panda bears. You can see that each of them has generated some kind of riddle here. Next, we're going to create an evaluation data set. And you know, for use cases like this, you don't actually have <clears throat> a ground truth. Like, we don't have a real answer of what is the best riddle. So we're going to have to use different uh, metrics to, to evaluate that. So here's the list of topics that we're going to pass into these different LLMs that we want to generate riddles from. Now we're going to log each model in the ML flow. And we're going to evaluate with the question answering default metrics. And we're also going to add our own metric. <clears throat> I put a link here where you can see the different metrics that come built in for this. So in our case here, we can see we're using the question answering defaults. So this will give us toxicity. If you do have an exact match that you can pass in, you can get a metric for that as well. But we don't have a ground truth. And then two metrics that have to do with the grade level assigned to the complexity of the answer. So this will look at things like the type of and like the type of language used in the response and try to determine roughly what grade level someone would need to be to read that. So in this next code example, I'm going to show you what it looks like to build your own metric. So MLflow has this great new capability called make gen AI metric. And for this, we can give our metric a name, a definition a grading rubric, which essentially says, this is how you should score riddles. We can point it to an endpoint. This can be uh, one of our pre-built-in foundation models or one of your external models. 
And then we have the option of providing multiple examples if we want to do few shot. So here's an example of an evaluation example where I just passed in the river example. I said it's got a score of eight because this riddle is pretty complex and most college students might take some time to figure that out. The last parameters I need to put in here are any model parameters like temperature and then aggregations we want. So you can imagine as this iterates across all the outputs of um, our different models like Llama 3 and Mixtral, uh, we want to compute the mean score and the variance of that score for each model so we can compare them. And then we should define which one, if greater for this metric is better or worse. So a 10 is great here. So for us, greater is better. Finally, we're going to create a new experiment by setting this experiment to a path that doesn't exist. Then we're going to iterate through our models dictionary. And for each model, our LAMA3, our Mixtral, and our DBRX, we're going to start a new ML flow run, <clears throat> log our lane chain model with its name, log, and then log metrics. And for the metrics, we're going to just compute those from MLflow evaluate. So we pass in our model URI that we just logged. We give it that evaluation set. That's our list of topics like pirates and golden doodles. We tell it we want the model type of question answering and to use our extra riddle quality. So now this is going to iterate through each of those models and it's going to compute those metrics for each one. So you can see now it's testing metrics on the first row and it's beginning to walk through. And here you can see it's calculating the different metrics for that row. And so this is now computing, which is great. Uh, and we can go take a look at the experiments tab. So here is our experiments tab, which is still being populated. Um, let's see, maybe it's, oh, it has finished, great. So this is finished now. So all three of these, we, we don't really know. These, these names are generated automatically. So we don't really have an idea yet of which one contained which model. But what we can do is take a look at our chart here and look to see which model is performing the best. So we have the riddle complexity. This is that custom metric that we defined. So this is the mean value across all of the different um, topics, golden doodles, pirates, goldfish. And we're rating the complexity of the riddle <clears throat> from each um, from each uh, model. And so you can see this first model here, Fun Chimp, got an average score of 10. Um, the second model got 8.85 and the third got an 8.57. The variance was zero for that first one. So all of the answers got tens, which is great. Um, and then the, the others had a little bit of variance. You can also see the grade level was extremely high for the area grade level metric and also extremely high for this flesh metric. So I think I want to keep this, this uh, fun chimp model as long as it's not toxic. And we can see its toxicity scores are very low as well. So that's fantastic. So let's take a look to see which model that is. So I'm gonna click in on the orange one here and I can see that the model was Llama 3. The metrics are here and my model's artifacts have actually been logged into MLflow here. I can actually now load this model out and use it in uh, my production use case of generating riddles. Um, another thing I would like to show you here is our evaluation window. Now this evaluation window is great because it lets you quickly get an idea of the, uh, the different kinds of results that are coming out. So here you can see that it's actually comparing the columns are each of the models. Remember, Fun Chimp was uh, Llama 3, and I'm not sure which of these two uh, is which yet. And then the topics here are the rows. And you can see if you want to quickly scan across, you know, and see which, uh, which riddles look better to you. <clears throat> so this is a great way to really eyeball some results and not totally rely on the metrics every time, but to have a chance to quickly look through the data yourself and to see how the results compare. So that gives you a great overview of how you would use MLflow to evaluate your LLMs and to log your metrics and to compare your models. Thank you.